Roberto Torres has seven children, seven stepchildren, and seven grandchildren, and has a lot to live for. So when he first felt throat pain five years ago, he took it seriously. I had a burning sensation in my throat that didn't go away. And after that, I felt like when I swallow, like there was a grain of rice stuck in the side of my throat. Like I could feel it moving. Roberto's primary care doctor treated him for a throat virus. But when symptoms persisted, he saw a throat specialist and was diagnosed with larynx cancer. Despite radiation, the cancer came back. So Roberto turned to the head and neck cancer specialists at Penn State Health for help. When we looked down his throat, we saw that he had a tumor there. Now we presumed since he had a larynx cancer before that it was recurrent tumor, but we don't assume. So we took him to the operating room, we performed a biopsy. And this indeed came back as a squamous cell carcinoma. Dr. Goldenberg removed the cancerous cells, but eventually the aggressive tumor returned. Radiation and chemotherapy were an option, but doctors had a plan that would cure the cancer for good. It was at that point that we said to him, the only surgical option left is to remove the entire larynx. And we wanted him to know that we thought that this was curative, but it would alter his life forever. I wanted to live, so I was like, the cancer seemed to be like one step ahead of me. So I figured it was time to jump way ahead of it. So I said, remove the box. Roberto knew this surgery would remove his ability to speak, eat, and breathe the same, but it would save his life. The procedure entails removing the larynx, which houses the vocal cords, up to the level of the trachea, which is where it continues as a pipe down to the lungs. After that's done, the patient is an obligatory neck breather, and the airway between nose, mouth, and lungs is no longer in existence. You gotta stay positive and focused on not the illness, but just enjoying your life and let the doctors do what they gotta do. After two months of recovery, Roberto returned to his job as a certified nurse assistant. He's thankful for a second chance at life and has advice for anyone experiencing symptoms. If you feel like something's not right, don't let somebody tell you otherwise. Push and seek. Nobody knows your body better than you do.